way for one party to control the other by making them feel like they're asking for too much. I don't think that this is talked about enough. Why would your partner, your true love, the one person in this world that's supposed to create safety, refuse to give you the small things that you ask for to create a safe environment? That's what this creator is talking about, so go watch her entire video. In my last relationship, I asked my partner to not leave me on red for a significant amount of hours. Now I realized that he was busy and he had a life, as did I, and I made that clear to him that I did not expect him to devote and speak to me every minute of the day but that for me to feel safe to go four to five hours on red was really triggering. I actually explained to him what goes on in my mind when I don't hear from him for four to five hours. Being anxiously attached to that relationship, I explained to him that when he would go four to five hours without talking to me and leave me on red, my mind would literally start acting like a crazy person and telling me all of these lies. I admitted to him that this was based on my trauma, something that, that I did not ask for. And as a result, I developed coping skills to stay safe. And my mind telling me these lies was one of those coping skills. I told him that it had nothing to do with him. It was just something that I needed to feel safe. Now, given all of that background information, him professing to love me, him hopefully wanting to create a safe place for me, why couldn't he meet that small demand or that small request, I should say, of not leaving me unread for four to five hours? I've asked myself this over and over again because I don't want to believe that it was a means of power and control, which is what this creator talks about. But you really have to ask yourself, if it's not about power and control, what is it about? The thing is, I know that he was capable of doing it because he did it during the good points in our relationship. It was when he was starting to withdraw in his avoidance and create obstacles in his mind as to why the relationship could not work that I started to see him refuse many times fight back against and just abjectly ignore my request to not leave me on red for four to five hours. So I know that he was capable of doing it. And in the times that he wasn't, it was because he was refusing to do so. He was an avoidant and I think he didn't know how to ask for his needs to be met. He didn't even really know what those needs were, to be honest. So instead of asking me to meet his needs and make the relationship a safe container for him, he employed toxicity by means of power and control to keep me chasing. What does me chasing give to him? It gives him security because I'm always left in a place of vulnerability and insecurity, and so I'm always doing more. It's a way to feel powerful and feel like I'm never gonna leave him. Which sounds nefarious, but honestly, it's just really, really sad. Like instead of being able to communicate and connect with me and ask me what he needs from me, he resorts to this toxicity. It shouldn't be that hard. 